Sagittarius to your mid-month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Looking at the 20th through the 25th. So let's see. Best message, please. Having a personal transition. Leaving it back some uh, emotional baggage over here. So it could be walking away from something that no longer serves you, saying, you know, I don't need that anymore. Or dealing with someone who is doing so. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. I'm feeling like you're in some kind of challenge mode over here. Protection mode. Doing it all. Lack it long term. Hmm. Comes to a love situation. Juggling. Looking for that inner joy. So let's see exactly what's going on over here, guys. Playing it safe from the past. Could have an X over here. Queen of Cups could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Let's see what we got here. Looks like this person has definitely has you in some kind of defense or challenge mode over here when it comes to this situation. Looks like you guys were working on this situation for the long term, but it looks like uh, I was doing kind of it all within this relationship. So it does look like you were carrying a lot of weight when it comes to this relationship. Looks like this person is um, juggling time, trying to adapt to a situation. Looks like you were also trying to adapt. Um, some kind of reconciliation going on over here where they want some kind of rec reconciliation. It looks like you were just kind of sitting back, kind of playing it small over here, not wanting to get too entangled within this relationship as this person is trying to walk back into your life. Um, like I said, it looks like an ex, and it could definitely be a cancer or something. Definitely, definitely relationship over here. There's definitely some indecision when it comes to, you know, wanting to rebuild this relationship with them. It looks like you are kind of, at this time, just kind of laying low, right? As they are coming towards you with their cup of love, wanting this reconciliation with you. Um, definitely they feel like there is some kind of connection that they, you know, that they do not want to let go. Some kind of connection to you. They may, you know, with the two of cups over here, they may know that they are your soulmate. And they do want to fix this, whether it's a marriage or par partnership, however it is. When it comes to this relationship, it's definitely lost its inner joy over here. But it does look like they're reminiscing a lot about the situation. <clears throat> they're not sure exactly how they're going to come towards you. They've been trying. It looks like a lot of it is in their mind. Um, kind of feels like they are kind of back and forth, though. So they could be texting you, you know, a little bit. But there's a lot of despair that they're not going to be able to connect back to you, that you're not going to allow this to happen as you are, as you are taking the back seat over here. Um, so they're kind of losing a little bit of faith that this is going to work out. Looks like right now as you're kind of playing it small over here, Sad, you're kind of enjoying your freedom, um, not wanting to really deal with this situation right now with them. It feels like there was some, in, you know, unfairness to this situation, some dishonesty, um, or it just could be just definitely just uh, cannot sit on the same page with each other. Just too much arguing. I see a lot of arguing. I think that this person does feel a little guilty for the way that it kind of uh, ended. It's like it just ended, you know, whether you walked away or they walked away, however it is. It's almost like kind of like I walked away. 
For some of you, it even has that kind of like I walked out the door, slammed the door. <laughs> right? It's all over. Um, but it does feel like they do want to come back to apologize. They are feeling the Ten of Swords at this time. No. They do feel like whatever happened, that they did make a bad choice when they did leave this relationship or made you leave this relationship. They feel like the values of what was going on within the situation may have had a lot of manipulation going on also. Uh, maybe they tried to manipulate something to make it feel like they had control over the situation when they didn't really have any control over that situation. To kind of make themselves look better, right? So, however it is, it does look like they're trying to plan to come back but they want smoother plans because they want to make sure that, you know, whatever they're going to do kind of renews that grass where the grass died, right? You say the grass wasn't greener. Um, and so it's almost like they want to replant the seeds for the rewards within the relationship. They definitely want this relationship to grow back into the way that it was before. Um, whether they can or not is going to be another story. Um, it does feel like though over here, you are kind of feeling your happiness, right? Like I said before, you're feeling your freedom from this situation, getting yourself back to where you feel a little more independent about your decisions, your choices, you know, how you're feeling the things you want to do. They could have been very controlling with the devil over here. Maybe they wanted to manipulate how you do things, where you go, what you don't do. That's for somebody for sure. And that could be another reason why you feel so much freedom um, not to have to always explain yourself for what, you know, you want to do. Um, and cross watcher, it could be the other way around. You could say Sag is always wanting to do so. So energy is a little fluid, goes back and forth. But it def definitely feels like whatever the struggle was, it has really taken a toll on you. Definitely you, Sag, this is your card. So definitely taking a toll on you. Right. No matter what, it was exhausting you. This whole relationship was exhausting. They definitely want to come in with some kind of direct communication. They feel like they're a little more clear-minded now in the mid-month that they can actually get out there and say what they need to say to you. They do feel like they have things that they want to say. They have things that they want to fix. They want to have a breakthrough with you. They want to have this reconciliation. Yeah. They do have some fear and anxieties, though, that you're not really going to take them serious. Queen of Swords is very serious. So how, how are you going to take me serious? So, But they are thinking about the situation, dreaming about the situation. It's also saying that they dream about you a lot. Definitely a lot of air and water over here. So whoever I'm picking up, Definitely is dealing with some kind of air or water sign. <clears throat> yeah, because of the disagreements, I just don't feel like they think that you're going to take them serious in any way, shape, or form over here. But they're definitely going to try to win at all costs. There could have been some sneaky behavior that was going on and... They felt like they were defeated when they were caught doing so. But there is just too much suffering and too much sorrow over here. There could be a time that, you know what, we know we're going to get divorced. Maybe they're trying to uh, delay a divorce by trying to fix it so you guys do not have a divorce. Yep, they're coming with that cup of love. Knight of Cups coming in. They want to, they want to fix this. There's definitely an apology coming in. Trying to tell you that, you know, you're the one who holds my, you know, my cup of love. Definitely having some restless energy over here. Um, they're protecting their thoughts and their heart, though. But they are definitely trying to come up with new ways to communicate to you, new new ideas of what to say, how am I going to say what I need to say to you and make you understand how I feel over here, Sagittarius. I do not want to lose you. 
So there definitely is this way of saying, well, I need to open up my heart a different way. I need to make them understand how I really truly feel before I truly lose them. So they're, it's almost like they're, they don't want to fight no more, but they do understand that this is just the ongoing cycle um, that just keeps going on. And, you know, how is this going to work? You know, is there going to be a real change? Do you, you know, are you going to see a real change? Is this just going to be another factor of the way they want to control a situation? And these are things that you're going to want to look at um, as you are sitting back, really thinking about the situation. Especially with the moon over here, as you're getting in your intuition, you're going to be looking at these things. Oh, I've heard this before. It's the same old story, um, you know, uh, right? So there's definitely, you know, yeah, are you going to actually break the cycles to have the Ten of Cups? I mean, are you actually going to do something you know, to really prove yourself, you know, worthy, to prove that I'm worthy enough, you know, in your eyes, because I don't know, for some of you, it feels like they kind of downplay you a lot. So you're really looking for the real determination and the real willpower, the real side of this situation. Are they being real? Um, and I think that that's the thing that you're looking at. Are they you know, acting insecure and just going after, you know, because they're all heartbroken or do they really want to come and truly, really fix this? Or is just this just another one of those, you know, overwhelming factors of every time we have this fight, this is the way it goes, and then it goes straight back to where it is, right? Karmic cycles. Um, so definitely they do want to message you and they definitely, you know, want to try to pull out the strength that they have, but... Like I said, you're going to really be looking at this, though, Sag, as, you know, is this real? Are you telling me the real truth? How long is it going to last? There's going to be a lot of things you're going to want to weigh. You're going to want to weigh on, right? With the two of pinnacles over here, really weighing the pros and cons of what they're saying. Is it real? Is it not? Are you, you know, are you being real? Are you just doing what you always do, right? So that will be something interesting. That will be something interesting, right? Unless they're, you know, they may have already started doing this or they're going to start depending on, you know, who I'm, um, you know, talking to because everybody's timing is a little different and fluid, so. You know, I just feel like it was like it was time to leave the relationship. You may have felt ready. You felt like you were ready to do so. But now they just want to come and, you know, they really want to reconcile the situation. But I think with the circumstances of the way that you're connecting to them, it just feels like, I don't know. I think that right now, the way I'm seeing it personally, it's just my personal opinion, you, you know, it doesn't mean a whole lot. But what I really feel from this is like you figured it was time to disconnect, you know, and now you're just kind of like, that's too early, you know, for you to want to come and do this. I'm not, you know, I'm not ready for this reconciliation. I don't think that a lot of you really want that. Um, for some of you, you might. Um, but I think the, I don't think it's even that so much. I think it's you're waiting for a real, true, real, heart-to-heart, -heart, true apology, right? I mean, that's what everybody ever, you know, really, really wants. Unless you just know that they just can't give it, then you know what? I don't want it. Right? We've already done this. So it's really going to be different for each person. But I think that right now with the circumstances the way they are, according to the reading here, it's kind of like you're just going to kind of sit over here and just kind of, hmm, kind of watch. So it's you've moved on. They believe you've moved on. Right? So... Too many inconsistencies. And that's that kind of uh, roundy round, right? And it could be. What are your underlining motives? You know, you've overstepped your boundaries again. Yeah, that could be a possibility, right? So it's pretty, pretty cut straight right there. So guys, they're moving in. Time will only tell of them how they're going to actually come in. They say they want to come in. They want to follow their heart. They want to be Prince Charming or, you know, a Princess Charming. So we'll see exactly how that's going to work. 
for now, right, we'll, it's like, hmm, it's going to be one of those times, time will tell. So go ahead and foster your patience and practice speaking positively about other people and events and especially for your own future. So, okay, develop flexibility and aim to be in harmony with all your environment. Okay, so those are your affirmations for the mid-month and that was it for you, my friends. Till next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.